As most of you know, I use the Zoom H6 recorder all the time. In fact, I taught a class on it. I'll have the link to that class below in the description of this video. But recently, I found a hard travel case that's ideal for the Zoom H6 recorder and the peripherals that go along with it. Let me show you. So I bought this guy. Can you see this? Let me kind of hold it up here and get it in my face so that you can take a, a better look at it. This is the C. I don't know if it's a CO2 Crea or it's, if it's a Co2 Crea. I don't know. I don't know the name. I don't know what to do with that name, but I do know what to do with this hard case because this is an excellent, excellent product. And I'll have a link below to this product as well in the description. But here's my disclaimer. Keep in mind that all of my Amazon links are associate links. That doesn't mean that the price goes up for you. That just means that if you buy one using the link that I provide, I'll get a dollar or so. That's all that means. And that helps me keep doing some of the projects that I'm doing here. But you know, when I bought my Zoom H6 recorder, it came with a little plastic case, a little cheap case, which I used for years and years. I bought my Zoom H6 recorder a number of years ago. And I've used that case when I travel with it, but I don't really like it. It's kind of flimsy. There's no padding in it. It's just a hard plastic case. It's kind of ugly. And I just didn't like it. I didn't like the feel of it. It, it wasn't big enough to put all of my Zoom H6 related stuff in it. It could handle a couple of the mic adapters and the Zoom it's, itself, but that was about it. But when I came across this case, the problem was solved. Let me show you some images. Here's what the case looked like when it arrived. And it had these pre-cut removable foam inserts. These foam inserts were already shaped for everything in the Zoom H6 recorder. So here it is with my Zoom and the Zoom peripherals that I like to keep together. And then once I remove the foam inserts, here's what it looked like with the Zoom inside of it, along with all the peripherals. This is fantastic. The Zoom H6 itself and all of these peripherals fit snugly in this case. And the case is large enough for all of the microphone adapters that I have. In addition, there's a zippered pouch in the lid that allows me to put things like my charger cable, extra batteries, my Zoom mic windscreens, and a portable desktop tripod that will hold both the H6 and this phone that I'm using right now to record this video. And here's something else that's really amazing. This was only $25 on Amazon at the time of this recording. $25 for this high quality zippered case. And again, it is high quality. It's a hard case, semi-hard case, I should say. It's not plastic, but it, it's very well built. It has a nice zipper to it. It has handles for easy carrying. I mean, this thing for 25 bucks, I was blown away. I should have bought four or five of them. Of course, I don't have a need for four or five of them, but maybe I should have done that. And right now I'm looking at the Amazon website for this. And in addition to the Zoom H6, you can get a case for the Zoom H8, the Zoom F3, the Zoom H1N, and the Zoom H4N Pro. And those other cases come in different colors. But I purchased the Zoom H6 because that's what I have. Hey, this case is shockproof, it's dustproof, it's water resistant, and most importantly, it's going to protect your Zoom device and the peripherals that go in it. So I wanted to just take a minute and share this with you. I love this case. I'm taking it on the road for the first time soon. And I feel a lot better about doing that than I did back when all I had was that cheap plastic case that came with it. So I'll have a link in the description below for this so that you can go check it out for yourself. Until next time, y'all take care.